Have you ever struggled with adding 3D people to your visualizations? Have you ever felt that something is not right and you spend hours changing their places from one to another? If so, don't worry, as in this video, I will show you my whole process of adding 3D people to images. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Aga and I'm a CG artist. And on this channel, we explore techniques and tools that will help you become a better artist. Today, I will show you my whole process of adding 3D people from my selection process to placing them in my visualizations. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, so you won't miss any future tutorials. Adding 3D people is typically one of the last steps for me, as I want to have everything more or less included and done, and add people on the almost finished image. So I take the image, I look at it and analyze what kind of people I need, how many of them, and where should they be placed. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will use the scene from our brand new training, Advanced Exterior Visualizations. It's more than 100 lessons and lots of great bonuses, free assets worth 1000 euros and plenty of great discounts. If you are interested in checking it out, I put the link in the corner. So let me show you where I want to put 3D people. So for sure, I want to have one person somewhere here in more or less one third of the image. One or two people walking on the pavement and for sure, I would like to add some people here to show the connection with the building. So one group perhaps sitting or one person sitting and one standing. And one more group that will show walking out from the building, maybe colleagues from work. Of course, I will add some people inside the lobby to add live there and show the character. For the top floors of this building, I will probably use forest pack to distribute offices and people at the same time, as they are not really visible there, but it will be nice to have some people visible if we take a closer look. But I won't place them here in this tutorial, as I want to show you a manual technique that requires much more attention and purpose. Okay, so let me show you my selection process. If I don't have people that I look for in my library, I look for them online. Great place to look for all sorts of 3D people is the Render People website. I put the link to the website in the description. So let's take a look. As I mentioned previously, we need to have an idea in mind before starting looking, otherwise it will be really ineffective. So let's go to Render People shop and I will talk about some tips on the way. So first of all, as I'm looking for visualization, the easiest way will be choosing 3D post people. However, if you need a person with some specific post, 3D rigged people might be your choice. So the first tip is to look for people that are adequate to the situation. So do I need a person to a shopping mall? Or perhaps a more casual looking man playing? Or a businessman in the middle of the talk? Someone walking on the stairs in elegant clothes? Maybe I need someone for the outdoor shot riding on a bike. Or just businesswoman walking for the meeting with a cup of coffee. Or totally opposite, I need a person with a pyjamas to show the intimacy of the space. So you can see that you have to have an idea and purpose of using specific people in your image and look for adequate examples. On this website, looking for render people models is pretty easy as they have many options for filtering, so if you have an idea, you won't struggle to find great examples. So for me, the main filtering option will be clothing, as I have winter shot. I will look for people that are more adequate to the weather. And here comes the next tip. Always use people that wear clothes proper to the weather. So if you do a winter shot, uh, use people that have uh, warm clothes, but if you do a summer shot, don't use people that have jackets, hats or something similar. It's a small detail, but even if you use just one model, incorrect model, your viewer will see it instantly and it will create super unrealistic results. Okay, uh, we have render people models that are more for the mountains than for my shot. This guy could work. However, let's see if we have something else. Okay, 
I will definitely choose this woman. She's in a specific action and it looks really natural. I need someone sitting on the bench, so I think he will suit perfectly. Let me stop here for a sec. Look at here. She indeed could be used in the winter shot, but not really European winter. So here is a good example that if I'm choosing a really warm worn person, she doesn't match the other render people models I've already chosen. Okay, I would like to use various people's ages, so I think she will work great. And maybe this older man as well. And definitely, I love this model. And here is my next tip. Choose people with emotions. The ones that may be placed with others in interactions. So people smiling, waving, showing some emotions. It will add life and emotions to your images. Okay, in the end, I will choose this woman. Again, she is smiling, giving positive emotions. And at the end, this man with more business looking will be great in relation to office building. By the way, remember that Render People offers free 3D people models. You can download them for free. So you can redo some steps from this tutorial in your own scenes without even spending money. Great, isn't it? Okay, now let me show you how the models come and what we will get. So after unzipping, you will see that we receive different formats and the quality of the models. So you can see the preview of the render people models and separate texture folder. I always delete files that I don't use to keep it clean and don't use unnecessary space on my server. What is pretty cool and it refers to my next tip is that we get two qualities of the models, 30K and 100K. So if you have problem with RAM, use low quality models and textures in the background and only use high quality models and textures in the foreground. And in the texture folder, you can see that we also have two sizes of textures that are automatically linked to the correct models. Okay, as we have my selection process explained, let's go to 3ds Max. Here are render people models I've chosen for the outside. I will use this man in the foreground. These two women will walk together like a mom with a daughter. I will group this man and woman together and I will sit him on the bench. They will talk together. And finally, I will group them as well, like they are walking from the office and say bye to themselves. So we can see that I've already had a plan and story behind each positioned model. Okay, so let's start from placing the man walking through the road. The great technique to place people on the surfaces is smart place. You can use Y on your keyboard to turn it on. So you can see that the model is automatically placed correctly on the top of the road. Okay, the next tip I want to mention here is to place main characters according to the composition rules. So in this case, I would place the walking man in one third. I moved him back as I don't want to pay too much viewers attention to his face. Okay, great, done. Let's place these two women. We can use smart place again. Let me zoom in in the view to make it easier. I think it will be nice if they will walk toward the building as it will direct viewers there. It's important to create layers so we don't always have to see the whole model. It's more natural if you hide them one behind another. Okay, I think I will move them back a little. I will rotate her as well and adjust her place. The next tip is to avoid putting people in the same distances. It's not good for composition, but it also looks unnatural. Let me show you. So you can see that if she will be here, for instance, we create the same distance and it seems that something is not right. Okay, let's go back to the previous setup and let's do another group. I start from him. If you click Y, you have smart place and if you click Y again, you'll be able to rotate the object. Anyway, let's move him somewhere close to the bench.
Now, you can see that he's not perfect for this bench, but it doesn't matter too much, as first of all, he's far away from the camera, and secondly, we can hide his feet a bit behind the snow drifts. And let's move her and let's create an impression of two people talking. It's important to create an impression that they look at each other. I rotate him a bit as I want him to talk. Okay, that's good. Let's do the last group. And now, look at the whole image. We have the man in the foreground in one thirds, and then we put two groups of people close to two thirds, so it will fit nicely to the composition rules. Okay, I've chosen these render people models as they will fit perfectly together. She's in the nice pose, natural pose, in action, and he seems to be a great listener. And again, remember about eye contact between people. However, we can notice that he is not in the right position, so let's use the top view to check it out. Here we go, we need to move him way closer to her. And now, it will look natural. I will move him slightly closer to avoid the same distance. The last tip I want to give you is to avoid placing 3D people too close to the camera, as people, similarly as plants, can help your image or break it. So if you want to keep it realistic, just don't place uh, 3D models too close to the camera. Great! Look at this jacket's details. I love it. It looks so 3D with this lighting. Awesome! This is what you want to create, these small details that make your image look realistic. Ok, so we have people outside the town, now let me quickly position people inside the lobby. So again, I choose 5 business render people models. Ok, I want to create a sense of depth and layers, so as I mentioned before, it's good to put some people behind another to create this natural sort of look. So I will start by positioning these two ladies. I will put them inside the lobby, but slightly behind the man in the foreground. And additionally, I want them to look as if they are walking and talking. Now let's put some people on another side. I have furniture turned off, so let me turn on the layer. Perfect. Ok, so I will position the sitting lady. Maybe something like this. And now, the other group. Let's align them to her. I think it will be great somewhere here. And I want this man looking as he is waving to the other ladies on another side to create a friendly atmosphere. Maybe I will move her towards this group on another chair. I think it will look better. If you want to practice this technique, and I'm sure you want to do this as you want to improve your skills, I put the link to the Render People website in the description so you will be able to download free models or purchase some others to practice. Also, if you like this visualization and you would like to learn how to create the whole image step by step using advanced techniques of creating materials, creating nature scenarios, creating different seasons, uh, setting up the camera according to the composition rules, uh, using post-production to add atmosphere, using fog and volumetrics, uh, using different lighting scenarios, using forest pack and rare clone, and editing plants in graphics and much much more, I'd like to invite you to check out our advanced exterior visualization course, so you can create images like this. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye bye!